I had the great good fortune to just meet with a number of my constituents who are very concerned and involved with cystic fibrosis, including some young constituents who are with me in the chamber today. Mr. President, I just had every Thursday, I have a welcome to Washington. Today they had a group of people from Nevada who have or have relatives that have cystic fibrosis. John and Matt, Matt both take about 30 pills a day to help with their basic digestive functions. This resolution is about supporting these families and providing them with the hope for a better future. We need more research and more funding, and we can't stop until we find the cure. Medical breakthroughs take time, and this area of precision medicine will be no different. But the patients with us this morning are living proof that the dawn of a new era has arrived. About 20 years ago, Bill was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. But it turns out Bill is one of 4% of cystic fibrosis patients whose disease is caused by a particular mutation in one gene. And a few years ago, the FDA fast-tracked a new drug target specifically targeting that mutation. Bill's now 27. When he was born, 27 was the median age of survival for a cystic fibrosis patient. For the first time in his life, he says, I truly believe I will live long enough to be a grandfather.